Hi everyone, today we are going to see how we can use the Data Visa Access Proxy to set up Microsoft Azure AD single sign-on for an application that uses header-based authentication. Now let's begin. First of all, let's take a look at how it looks to end users after integrating with Data Visa. When the user visits the application, here it is header.example.com. It will display an Azure AD SSO login button. Click the button and then it will be automatically redirected to the SSO login page. Here Azure AD prompts the user to enter their ID credentials, and once after successful authentication, the user will be continued to the application. In this part, we are going to see how easily it can finish the all configuration in a few minutes. In the beginning, I will create a new deployment called Web App Demo and create a new application called Web App. Couple of things we should point out here, the public domain is the entry point user will need to type into the browser, and the listen port number is the port our access proxy will listen on. And the upstream address is the internal address of the protected application. This step is to configure a new Azure AD IDP, I will name it as Azure AD Demo. Choose the protocol OIDC and select the identity provider as Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Because you are using a one-click generator to do the configuration, Data Visa Management Console will handle the rest for you. Copy the provisioning keys or the YAML file, you will need them later. If your application expects more user info through the header, cookie, or JWT token, you can set up here to make the Data Visa Access Proxy handle all these for you including user attribute mapping, transmission, bypass, etc. In this example, I will set up a few headers including email, username, first name and last name. Because you are using SSL on the public domain and you do not have any reverse proxy or load balancer to handle SSL traffic for you, you need to enable SSL here and let the Data Visa Access Proxy handle the SSL traffic. Now let's switch back to our terminal, here we need to create a YAML file and paste the content you copied from the previous step. Use the docker compose up d command to spin up the Data Visa Access Proxy. So far, we have finished the configuration part. That concludes the demo, and as you can see, Data Visa Access Proxy simplifies the process of enabling Azure AD Single Sign-On (SSO) for applications that use header-based authentication. With Data Visa Access Proxy, the migration to Azure AD can be achieved easily, securely, and efficiently. Thank you for watching.